Hello my people, hope you're doing okay. Welcome to Her Name is World. Welcome to the channel that inspires you to do business in agriculture. A channel that inspires you to be your own manager when you're carrying out agribusiness. A channel that gives you an example mm -hmm. on how you can say in your villages all at your farm as you're carrying out uh, farming business. So if you're interested in such vlogs, please consider to subscribe down below and hit that bell that you see so that you get notified when i upload more videos guys. today's topic or today's discussion is that farmers are the next billionaires and this is what you need to do to make it happen guys to make that dream of yours as a farmer to happen guys so why do they in the first place why do they have to say that Farmers are the next billionaires. These are the reasons why that statement is there. Number one, farming as a business, it is the only, it is among those businesses that solve a problem that that will never end. There is a problem of scarcity of food. There is a problem of food security. That problem will never end. We need to supply food. We need to supply um meat beef eggs name it that is food to the people and remember the population is growing at a high peak all at a high speed yet the land that we use to cultivate the food or the land that we use to rear these animals doesn't increase that is the secret guys so the land is not increasing but the people are increasing the number of the population all over the world is increasing yet the land we use to cultivate the food to calculate to 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 rear these livestock is not increasing and also farmers are overwhelmed this leads to that condition that farmers are overwhelmed <laughs> by the demand of what we supply more so in the livestock part you cannot supply goods right now and you achieve and and you achieve the demand like and you satisfy the demand the demand is always higher that, than the supply in the farming sector guys so that is the reason why they have to say that most especially here in africa why do they say that african farmers are the next billionaires because africa will stand out number one we are naturally endowed by the climate or by the weather to carry out farming that favors the farming activities then another thing that in this in all the continents africa is among those continents that still has land for farming we still have large chunks of land like 60 percent of african land is untackled or it is there and it is very favorable for farming activities it is so fertile the grasses are there to feed the livestock and so fertile for 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 growing crops to feed the nations so that is why we africans have to come up and solve this problem of food insecurity and get money and become billionaires as simple as that so what do you need you who is aspiring to become a farmer or you who already began to be a farmer what do you need to put in place so that you achieve that dream of becoming a millionaire or becoming a billionaire these are the points these are some of the points that i'm going to talk about there are very many but i'm going to cut them up to cut them point down. number one just start just start guys just start that farming business or that farming activities that you want to concentrate on because starting is the hardest part in every business so just have that spirit to start just start don't worry about making mistakes because remember when you are starting whatsoever you do will be wrong like it or not it will be wrong start make mistakes learn from those mistakes begin again like that so just start don't fear to make mistakes start as you learn that business of making business plans guys eh? me i don't believe in them at the beginning of the business a business that is beginning let them not steal your money you are making a business farming business plan you start all you need is at the beginning all you need 
is to make research on those different farming activities that you want to begin or you want to involve in make research get to know get to know all about those information uh, regarding what you are going to deal in if you are going into livestock people this is where most in africa this is where most people don't even like relax this is where people relax when they are doing farming activities and they will think that in livestock things to do with diseases it will be only the veterinary doctors know those diseases that will affect your animals get to know those diseases know the causes and prevent the causes then at least know some some little knowledge about how to treat some diseases some essential diseases or some immersed diseases of those animals it will save you a lot guys so start don't fear to start just know starting is the hardest part and just know that you whatsoever you are doing doesn't need to be right so start and make those mistakes then after making those mistakes learn from them then we start again be consistent and never give up guys so that just start after starting guys real make a commitment to make it happen make a commitment to succeed guys look at the output not the look at the input not the output at the beginning guys so have a vision and make a commitment to make that vision to happen and commitment doesn't only need motivation or passion okay passion in farming will help you to to not give up because you have that passion but passion alone is not enough motivation alone is not enough you need to be disciplined hmm? you need to be disciplined so that you make your commitment happen discipline that i'm talking about here is making something to happen or making something or doing something because you must do it not 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 doing it because you are not motivated to do it or not doing it because you don't feel like remember when you are starting this journey of farming you will face very many problems but even if you face very many problems even if you become so unmotivated you have to be so disciplined to rise again and also make things happen guys whether you are motivated or you are not motivated whether you feel like or you don't feel like you have to be so committed you have to be so disciplined to make things happen or to do what you are supposed to do to make things happen or to push so on. as you you carry out your farming ventures guys you have to know that you are not only a business person and you are not only a focusing to be only a business person but also you are focusing to be an entrepreneur in the long run guys an entrepreneur is that one that will build systems and processes we put systems in place for the business to carry on whether you are there or not that is in far long run guys so you focus on also um, having a vision to provide for the global community not only in your area after you've mastered the market or you've mastered the the the, the You've mastered the, your business in your area or in your country then spread and have that vision also to provide for the global community make it international in future and also focus on adding value in what you are producing add value in what you are producing if it is milk know that you can process that milk into powdered milk then you sell make that company and you make that farm of yours to produce raw materials for that company to add value like for example coffee you can get coffee and also you can plant the coffee then you make a coffee company that produces coffee from those coffee beans then supply if you are making goods you, you have to put into consideration in the future to have a butcher or to slaughter your goods uh, goods meat then pack it then supply the, the world don't just think into into a bubble like you are only going to supply all in your village or you will supply all the next town make it global think big as you start small 
think big game. Another point is change your brand. Change the brand. For example, let me give an example. I started with local health guys because I saw I saw that there is a gap in my country of local health. Most people are only producing all they are only producing uh brailer hands, mm, layer hands, crailers, that's so name them. They are now living out the local hands, yet the local hands have a lot of benefits, guys. For example, the local eggs, you know the benefits of the local eggs, and even the local hands, they are so so natural. So I saw that gap and I saw also that market. But remember, here in my country, the way they package the local hands is different. For the local eggs, it is different. Uh, people that buy the local eggs are used to buy the local eggs in these banana fibers. That is how they package that the, they are local eggs. But I changed that and I used to package my local eggs in very well plastic plastic um, trays. And I put my logo, business logo, and where the farm is owned. That is a way of marketing and also changing the brand. Don't say that, ah, this is how they do it. All the people who are selling these eggs do it like this. I also do it like this. Change the brand, guys. Do it differently, but beautifully. That it attracts people. That makes you different in that particular field that you are. Remember, you're not the only person building that or only person dealing in that so what makes you different in what you are doing is a mark for you guys so do change the brand do it differently don't do it like the way i do it differently in a good way don't do it like like the others like these people do it like this i'll always do it like this so be different then you will shine last out among those points have faith to believe in that important Guys, have faith to believe in the impossible and never give up. The difference between those success people and the mediocres is those ones that are successful in what they have done, they never give up. They are consistent. Consistency is a very good key to success, guys. Be consistent and never give up. Have faith and believe in the impossible and believe in your dreams, believe in your vision, guys. So those are some of the points that will make that dream of yours come true so guys if you've gotten something in this video please consider to her name to subscribe to her name is world have a comment down below let's have a conversation on this topic and also comment share this video guys share this video and don't forget to hit that uh, notification bell so that youtube notify you when I upload more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.